Yes, it's my pleasure to officially declare the exhibition open. Thank you. Thank you. It's hard to imagine what life was like 1,300 years ago when Gibraltar fell under Moorish rule. But now, on this 50th anniversary of the Gibraltar National Archives, the exhibition here at the Fine Arts Gallery invites us all to take a walk back into the rich tapestry of our past. The fact is that the archives are almost the national memory of Gibraltar, the records of our, of our country dating back hundreds of years, uh, the documents uh, which are there available for people to, to go and see. So for me, certainly as a historian, it's a source of great pride to be able to have been here today and to open the exhibition. The reality is that the four men who have been held the post of archivists, each of them have contributed to the archives in a very different way and provided their own particular stamp on the development of the archive. It's something we can be well and truly proud of. Since its inception in 1969, the Gibraltar National Archives has been responsible for the collection and preservation of public records, as well as the preparation of those records for public access and academic research. The oldest document dates back to the 16th century. We have uh, the, the oldest, uh, a copy of the oldest document that we have in the archives, which is when Gibraltar was Spanish in 1577. It's an acta de cabildo de libertad and it's a petition they were going to send the governor a corregidor and there was, there was fake news going around even in that time and, the, and the, the, it's a petition from the, from the Cadildo, which is the municipality, the, the government, saying yes please send this man. The lectures are also followed by question and answer sessions and it's a chance to brush up on your own history. We have my friend Tito Menadi tomorrow and he's doing one of his Tito's things which is instead of the audience asking questions, he will ask the audience questions. And one of them is, for example, I'll ask you one of the questions. When did Gibraltar become British? 1704? Wrong! 1713, in the Treaty of, of Utrecht. Of course, the Treaty of Utrecht. So that is one of his trick questions, yeah. and now you know. The showpiece of the exhibition is a 19th century oversized ordnance survey map titled The Plan of the Fortress and Peninsula of Gibraltar, including the Spanish survey of 1865. It was created by the Royal Engineers Regiment Cartographer. The National Archive database was launched in July 2014 as part of the government's policy of complete digitisation of all records. It currently holds over half a million pieces, including a number of digital images as well as digital audio and video. No, the, the, the records are not confined, like in, in Tommy's time, to no, I don't know where he is, there. Through no fault of his, the, the records were confined to the four walls. I mean, I'm privileged in the sense that I'm living in the 21st century. Not all, not all digital stuff is good, but I think for, for our purposes, it's, it's a perfect tool to have. The wealth of information compiled and kept at the archives over those 50 years is immense. I mean, the first document that is held there dates back to 1577, which is obviously before uh, 1704 and the, the British capture of the rock. So there's a wealth of information there. We need to release that information and make it available to the public. As part of the exhibition, a series of lectures are planned with question and answer sessions afterwards. There's also a digitization and conservation station with daily demonstrations and there are a selection of Gibraltar films. This really is Gibraltar's very own crown jewels and the exhibition is only open until the 23rd of November. Don't miss it. For more information on all the lectures and films throughout the exhibition, visit nationalarchives.gi or the GNA Facebook page.